Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physios Healing Touch. So today in this video, I will tell you about hip external rotation and internal rotation MMT. So first is external rotation MMT. So the muscles involved in hip external rotation is obturator externus and internus quadratus femoris, piriformis, gem gemellus superior and gemellus inferior, gluteus maximus and there are some other muscles also such as sartorius, biceps femoris, its long head, gluteus medius, its posterior fibers, psoas major, adductor magnus, adductor longus and popliteus. So for grade 3, the patient's position will be short sitting and he will stabilize his trunk by placing his hands flat on the table. Then ask the patient to perform external rotation. If patient completes the range, then the grade 3 is good. Note if patient is doing any trick movement in order to compensate the weakness of external rotators like lifting the contralateral buttocks or increasing the range of flexion in the knee or is he doing any abduction of the hip joint. In grade 4, the patient position will be same as grade 3 but in grade 4, the patient will be sitting beside patient on a low stool. Ask the patient to perform external rotation of hip at the end range of external rotation. Therapist will apply a resistance in moderate pressure in grade 4. Note that with one hand therapist is applying resistance and with the other hand he is applying a counter pressure at lateral and distal aspect of thigh. Now in grade 5 all the positions will be same. In this, the therapist will apply a maximal resistance. So at the end range of external rotation, therapist will apply maximal resistance. If patient can hold it for few seconds, then his grade 5 is good. But if patient cannot hold this resistance, then it will be positive break test. For grade 2, therapist will not apply any pressure and it will be gravity eliminated motion. So the patient's position will be the limb will be in internal rotation as you can see and the therapist will be standing beside the tested limb and then ask the patient to roll your leg out. If patients complete the external rotation range of motion beyond the midline then grade 2 is good. In grade 1, there will be no movement but therapist can appreciate the muscle activity. He will palpate the muscle activity and in grade 0, there will be no muscle activity as well. Now next is hip internal rotation MMT. Muscles that perform hip internal rotation is gluteus minimus, its anterior fibers, TFL, gluteus medius, its anterior fibers, and other muscles are semitendinous, semimembranous, adductor magnus, and adductor longus. Now for grade 3 in internal rotation, the position of the patient will be same. He will stabilize his trunk by putting his hands flat on the table and he will be short sitting position. Then ask the patient to perform internal rotation. In grade 3, the therapist will apply, not apply any pressure. In grade 4 of internal rotation of hip, the patient will perform internal rotation and then the therapist will apply resistance at the end range. And with his other hand, he will apply a counter pressure at the medial and distal thigh. In grade 5, all the positions will be same but the therapist now will apply maximal resistance and the patient has to hold that maximal resistance for few seconds. In grade 2, patient will be in spine line and his tested limb will be in external rotation and the therapist will be standing beside the tested limb. Then ask the patient to roll his leg towards the other one. If patient completes the range of motion in gravity eliminated plane, then grade 2 is good. Now in grade 1 and 0, patient will not able to perform any movement but therapist can palpate some muscular activity in grade 1 and in grade 0, there will be no muscular activity as well. 